What's up guys, my name is Calvin Wiley and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, oops, okay. In today's video, I will be talking about Vespa Crabro, commonly referred to as the European Hornet. I've made a video on European Hornets in the past, but this video will sort of be kind of like a 2.0 where I talk about things that I didn't talk about in the first video. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so this right here is Vespa Crabro, commonly referred to as the European Hornet. Now, this particular one that I'm holding is a female, and specifically, she is a queen. Now, if you're unfamiliar with European Hornets or just eusocial wasp in general, eusocial wasp are wasps that live together in a colony, and there is a hierarchy system. If you're familiar with honeybees and you kind of already know how it works, but this is the queen right here. She is the largest out of the hierarchy, and within a colony, there is roughly around 200 to 500 members. And the queen does all of the egg laying, while the workers, which are also females, they go out and forage for food, and they also go and defend the nest from potential threats. There are also drones as well. Now, the drones don't live together in a hive, but their job is to mate with newly hatched queens to fertilize them. Now, what's interesting about the European Hornet is that it is North America's only true species of Hornet. So if you reside in North America, like I do, this is the only Hornet species that we have here in North America. Now, you may be wondering why it's called a European Hornet. And that is because they are originally from Europe. So the European Hornet is actually Europe's largest eusocial wasp species. And they came, or I should say they were introduced to North America in the 1840s accidentally. Since then, the European Hornet has made its home in North America and it is here to stay. They are definitely not going anywhere. They can be found throughout North American states. Now again, if you remember in North America, you probably remembered a few years ago when the news came out that supposedly murder hornets made their way to the United States. And I just wanted to dispel some things about that. So a lot of people, you know, they saw the European hornet and automatically assumed that these were the supposed murder hornets. Um, a few things I want to point out there. Murder Hornets, that is just a foolish nickname used to try to scare people into also bringing more views and attention to the media. So the Murder Hornet, as many news outlets have deemed them to be, is simply a an Asian giant hornet, Vespa Mandarinia. They use different buzzwords to try to reel people in and to draw attention. But yeah, they murder hornet. It, it's just so foolish what you know lengths they go to to try to frighten people. But um, you know, it's it's all fear mongering. But this right here is the supposed murder hornet that many people were commonly seeing and thinking that it was the Asian giant hornet. Not saying the Asian giant hornet didn't make its way in North America. It did, but there are very few populations of them, and they have since been eliminated <laughs> but this right here is not a murder hornet or an asian giant hornet this is a common relative to the asian giant hornet so like i stated earlier this is vespa crabro and the asian giant hornet is vespa mandarinia so these guys are within the same genus as them now with that being said the genus vespa is the genus of hornets and so what makes a hornet a hornet is that it has to be or a wasp sorry has to be within the genus vespa and so currently there are 22 different species of hornets in the world so there are 22 different species of wasp within the particular genus vespa only wasps within the genus Vespa qualify as hornets or true hornets. Now I want to talk about the diet of European hornets. So these wasps are actually carnivorous as are 
many species of wasp. They're really responsible for lowering populations of insects, particularly insect pests. So these guys will consume flies, they'll consume grasshoppers, they will oftentimes consume honeybees. I know a lot of people get upset about that, but it is part of their diet. Um, they also will consume uh, stink bugs and other insects that people may deem as pests or I guess unwanted, uh, but these guys do a great job at eating a lot of insects, which in return helps lower populations of pests and other species that may cause, uh, you know, sort of an imbalance to the ecosystem. I know a lot of people like to use the word aggressive. These wasps are extremely defensive. That's kind of word I like to use when describing them and other arthropods, but they can be very, um, territorial if you step within range of their nest or you know if you get near them and try to swat them they may perceive that as a threat and will definitely not be shy to deliver a venomous sting now of course the females are the only ones that can deliver a venomous sting both the workers and the queen are capable of producing a venomous sting so the males you know obviously cannot if you're unfamiliar with uh, the way stinging works for ants, bees, and wasps. The stinger, which is really just the ovipositor, it's a modified ovipositor. The ovipositor is the egg-laying organ. It's responsible for laying eggs, and it's kind of where you get the word ovipositor from. OV meaning egg, and then positor, think of like deposit, deposits the eggs. And so it's modified in a way that it acts as a weapon almost and so it's uh, has a venom gland attached to it and so besides laying eggs it can also prick and inject venom into the flesh of a perceived foe and so these guys i will say in terms of stinging wasp goes out of all the wasp species that i've been stung by i have to give it to the european hornet for in me personally being the most painful. Now, I've been stung by this species, I can't even tell you how many times. It's, you know, just second nature now to, for me to get stung by these, but I will say that as of right now, this is the most painful sting out of all of the wasp species that I've been stung by. Now, obviously there are so many more wasp species out in the world that have a much more potent sting. I just haven't been given the opportunity to get stung by those, but I would like to one day. Bringing attention to the first video that I made on European Hornets, I stung myself not once but twice in that video. I, just because, I mean, I don't know of a better way to end this video, I'm going to sting myself with this European Hornet uh, in this video. So, like I already said, I've been stung so many times by this particular species of loss, but you know, what's one more time? <laughs> hey guys, I just want to make you all aware of some new products that I've added to my website. First are the t-shirts. I have them available in two different designs, the Southern Black Widow and also the Earthworm. These shirts are unisex and range in sizes small to extra large and will come in three different colorways, black, white, and gray. They're available for pre-order and will be shipped February 15th. Another cool thing added to my website are a limited collection of framed arthropods. These arthropods have all died from natural causes, mostly due to old age, and have been personally pinned and framed by me. One of my most popular stickers, the European Hornet, I now converted into a keychain. For those of you who are into keychains, I have for sale, only available on one option, the European Hornet. Lastly, the stickers that most of you are familiar with are still up for sale on my website. So head on over to my website to see what you like. And as always, thank you so much for supporting my small business. All right, here we go. Nothing like a good old sting from the European Hornet. Uh, let me see, I want you to sting me right here. There we go. So she just stung me. She's continuously stinging me. Let me get a better view so you can actually see what's happening here. 
She's going like in and out really quickly. I kind of wanted her to stay within my skin, like become basically embedded so that she can pump that venom, but it doesn't look like she wants to. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for right there. Oh, she took it out. But man, she's biting my skin, as you can see. There are mandibles, honestly. Uh, people ask me, you know, what's worse, the sting or the, the bite. The bite, honestly, doesn't... I, it may look bad. Like, I'll show you her mandibles. They may look bad, but they're really not. Oh, there we go. Okay. I felt that one. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's all I wanted you to do. You didn't have to hold back on me. She really gave me a good dose right there. I'll just keep allowing her to do a little, like, quick jabs series of stings. Oh, ah, shoot. And she fell. <laughs> One second. Let me pick her up. I'm not going to take her off camera. Where is she? Oh, there you are. Here, come to me. Come here. There we go. Sorry about that little mishap, but... <laughs> There we go. Um, well, you can see some swelling is starting to arise on my forearm. And now just a few more stings, and I think we should be good. There she goes, gripping onto my skin with her mandibles. It's like double action, you know, you get the biting from the front and then you get the stinging in the back. <laughs> but I think she's done. Doesn't seem like she wants to keep stinging me. But let's look at that swelling. So here, actually, let me hold her. Take a look at that swelling really quickly. So <clears throat> starting to form, we can see kind of like some redness around my arm and the bump right there but yeah i mean honestly it's really not that terrible <laughs> yeah nothing too bad but yeah there you have it all right, well, that is going to conclude today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and learned a few things about Vespa Crabro, the European Hornet. If you have any questions about the European Hornet or just questions in general, please feel free to ask me in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. If you enjoyed the video, however, if you could please leave a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications. That way you're alerted every time that I post a new video. Follow me on Instagram at Kelvin Wiley and also on TikTok at Kelvin underscore Wiley. Check out my website, KelvinWiley.net, and I will see you guys in the next video.